So it's time to spill the tea. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. <laughs> Anything for views? <sighs> so I started law school again this week and man, it has been intense. So basically I have begun the second phase of law school called the LPC, the legal practice course. And on that course, you basically learn the practicalities of how to be a lawyer. Anyway, I've been feeling pretty demotivated this week, uh, having had Christmas, just eating and drinking and more eating and more drinking. And I decided, right, I need to try and do something to make myself feel motivated, make myself feel a bit more productive than I currently do. And so I decided to come up with five things that are gonna make me more productive in 2020 that I really want to focus on throughout this year. So the first thing I want to remind myself, I guess, throughout 2020 is that motivation is not something that you either have or don't have. It's something that you kind of grow in yourself and you basically develop from feeling like you're capable of being productive. And I think most people probably look at me and think, well, this guy is obviously like really motivated. You know, he makes study videos and is just good at this. But actually the reality is that for the last month or so, I felt pretty demotivated, haven't been that productive, I found myself getting distracted all the time. And so I decided that I really just needed to do something about that. So I want to tell you quickly about what happened to me this morning. I woke up at around 6.40 and I was in a kind of hazy state and I was like, oh, I just feel so, so tempted just to go back to sleep right now, like I have done pretty much every morning for the last month and to sleep in until 8.30 or nine o'clock. But I managed, I don't know how, in that moment just to convince myself like, no, Liam, come on, just get up this one time and then you'll feel motivated, hopefully moving forward. And I managed to get myself to get up at that point. I started work at seven and no exaggeration say that I've had the most productive day I have had probably for the last year. I worked from seven till seven and because I was in such a motivated kind of state of mind, I managed to do about 45 minutes of exercise, which I haven't done again in about the last month or two. I've been really bad at doing exercise regularly. So I guess my point is just to remember that motivation is something that if you can just convince yourself to really push hard and focus on trying to get work done for one day, that will set a precedent for yourself and make you feel so much more confident that you can repeat doing that over and over again. And motivation will come from showing yourself that you're capable of being productive. So remember that motivation is not something that you either have or don't have, it's something that you're capable of fostering in yourself. And you know, my most popular video on YouTube, other than my current law video, which is exploded in the last few days, which is awesome. But other than that, the most popular video I've ever made is basically a two and a half minute rant about motivation, telling people, get off your lazy ass, go and work and stop tidying your desk, stop procrastinating and come back and comment on this video in 40 minutes when you've been productive. And it's got over one and a half thousand likes, it's got over 250 comments because people are like, wow, this is crazily simple. I didn't think it would be this easy to motivate myself and make myself realize that I can be productive. So I challenge you to do what I did this morning. Just get up early, have a super productive, motivated day and show yourself that you're capable of studying really effectively. And then come back to this video and quickly comment, I did it, I am, capable of being productive and I feel motivated now from that. Thanks, Liam. The second thing I'm gonna be doing in 2020 to make sure that I have the most productive year possible is to have one or two things each day that I focus on. So I read a book by a guy called Gary Keller called The One Thing. And in that book, I learned probably the most important thing that all of us can be doing is setting a task or two each day that we spend virtually all of our time on. Setting one or two things that we want to focus on each day means that rather than being completely bombarded mentally by all this stuff that we need to get done, we can focus on a deeper level on the tasks that matter most. And to give you an example of how this works, there are kind of two ways in which I'm going to be trying to implement this strategy. First of all, I'm going to be setting specific tasks that I want to focus on that are just particularly important at the moment. So for example, I've just started law school. I need to make sure, and today I set law school and exercise as the two focuses that I had for the day. And basically I did nothing else but those two things from seven o'clock until seven o'clock. The second way is that if, for example, you go to school and you have loads of different stuff to do, obviously you have different pieces of homework to do. It's not possible for you just to focus on one particular task. Obviously you have lots to do. 
Instead, I'd recommend trying to focus on one or two things that you really want to work on. So that could be being kinder, for example, or for me, it could be something like stopping biting my nails. Any kind of positive change that you want to make in your life, I would recommend that you maybe pick one or maximum two things to focus on for a day or maybe even a week and work towards those things. Because if you try and say, right, I have 10 New Year's resolutions and I'm going to stop biting my nails, stop drinking alcohol and eat more healthily and go to the gym every day. It's such an overwhelming sensation from all that stuff that you need to be doing that you're probably not going to achieve any of them. And so I think what I've taken from Gary Keller is just that focus on one particular thing that matters to you right now. Get that as a habit that you've built into your life and then move on and develop another new habit rather than trying to develop loads of new habits all at once. My third focus for 2020 is somewhat paradoxically to practice achieving a deep level of focus. Basically during each time I study or work, I think that so many of us are bombarded by distractions all the time, notifications on our phones, uh, for me looking at the YouTube analytics for my channel or going on Instagram and having a look at who's more popular than me. All this stuff is just so overwhelming and I think that we have more and more distractions in our lives. And I genuinely believe that focus is a skill that can be practiced like playing basketball or football or chess. It's not something that you either have or don't have. And so I really want to work on getting even better than I currently am at really focusing deeply on the tasks that I'm currently doing rather than allowing myself to lose focus. And one thing that Gary Keller again taught me, and I've kind of taken this again from Cal Newport's book, Deep Work, which I also love, is the idea of imagining that each study session or work session is like going to the cinema. So where at the cinema, you go to the loo beforehand, you make sure that you have food so that you and a drink so that you don't get hungry or thirsty during the film, and you sit down and you watch a film for two hours maybe. And you don't think, oh, I'm just gonna pop on Instagram quickly, I'm just gonna have a look at my notifications. You focus on the film for two and a half hours. But I think when the distractions are that much more readily available to us, we find it so much more easy to, oh, I'll just have a quick look at my phone. And I think seeing work and study sessions as watching a film every day, if I can have a two and a half hour session, or maybe even an hour and a half session, where I am insanely focused each and every day, I'm gonna be able to get so much done. And so I think that's basically something I'm going to be working on really hard this year is trying to practice the skill of being focused. And I think that probably it is the most underrated, underpracticed, and probably the most important skill of the century. I genuinely believe that so many of us are bombarded by distractions all the time. And I think getting better at being able to switch off from those distractions and genuinely focus on what we're doing is massively powerful. So that's why I'm making it a focus for 2020 and why you should too. The penultimate thing that I'm gonna be focusing on in 2020 is pretty personal and basically it's to try and make sure that whenever I go out on a night out, I don't have an insane number of units of alcohol. I work really, really hard and most of you probably follow me for that reason. But it means that whenever I have a, an opportunity to go out and have a good time, I generally get quite drunk. And I think that's not a problem in itself and I definitely want to continue to enjoy myself whenever I go out and have a good time with my friends. But I think that it's a big problem in terms of waking up the next day and just feeling completely terrible. And I think if I'm spending 15 days of the year completely useless, like zero productivity, I'm wasting half a month every single year doing literally nothing. And so I think my focus is really just to make sure that I practice just a little bit more moderation so that my productivity isn't 100% the day after going out, but it's more like kind of 60 or 70% so that I can actually make some valuable use of that time and not waste like half a month every single year of my life because I'm in bed uh, struggling. And finally, in 2020, I want to continue to focus on something that I've been focusing on pretty hard for about the last three months. And that is pretty much looking beyond productivity to the why we should be 
productive in the first place. I think that productivity is massively important. I think that getting stuff done and achieving things in our personal, academic and professional lives is massively important to feeling successful and fulfilled. But the reality is that there is so much more to life than just doing well in exams or getting a good job. And I've really been trying to make sure that I focus on remembering that because I think that a life that is 100% productive all the time kind of misses the point of productivity. Like the point of productivity isn't to spend all of your time being super productive and to get loads done. The point of being productive is to get loads done during the time that you're working so that you can do more of the stuff that you want to do and spend more time with the people that really matter. So yeah, I want to make sure that my relationships with friends, family, are well productive i guess or not <laughs> not in that way not in that way um and that yeah i make the most of my kind of time as a young person with a family that love me and spending time with all the people that matter to me so to go back to where we started i would recommend that you go away and spend a full day being super productive and I promise you it's easier than it sounds. Just set your alarm to get up early, make sure that you stick to a plan for the day, and I promise if you put in that effort and just really focus for a whole day on being productive, on not getting distracted during your study sessions, that you'll feel so much more motivated moving forward. I genuinely felt so demotivated prior to today, and I now feel really motivated for the rest of the year. So motivated that I've created this video. Go away and come back when you have completed uh, a day of studying like an absolute boss. Say you did it, and yeah, I really look forward to speaking to you again soon. Subscribe, like, and all that shenanigans, and I look forward to you joining me again in another video very soon. Thanks a lot.